Hey there, Emily from Picky Story here. Today I'm going to show you what our frequently bought together bundles are and how you can add them to your store using Picky Story. So frequently bought together bundles are usually displayed on a product page, but you can display them in other locations as well. Um, the cart is another popular option and you can display them on the page or as a pop-up. So basically how the frequently bought together bundle works is you can see we have this product page here for a black t-shirt and then below it we have a deal where you can purchase related products and get a discount. Discounts are optional, so you can also set this up without a discount if you just want to show related or recommended products to your customers. So we have a few different um, layout options as well. You can basically position this anywhere on the page. So in this, in this example, it's below the main product. Um, we also have a really popular option, which is just below the uh, add to cart button. You can show it there. And then, as I mentioned, you can use a pop-up too. Uh, so that's how it looks on the page. Now let's take a look at how to set it up in Picky Story. So um, from either the Get Started tab, you can click on Create Bundle and then Frequently Bought Together. Or if you're in the Deals tab, you can click on Create Deal and then Create Bundle Frequently Bought Together. It's the same thing. Um, so let's click on Create Bundle here and start setting one up. So I'm going to call this my Backpacking Bundle. And then I'm going to start adding my products to it here. So I have a backpack. I have some poles. And I have a sleeping bag. Cool. And then once my products are added, I can go to the discount section um, and start setting up the discount options. So like I said, this is optional. You can just toggle it off if you don't want to offer a discount. Um, in this case, I'll use a percentage-based discount and I'll set it to 10%. You could also offer a, a buy X, get Y or BOGO discount. So for example, we could say buy the backpack and the sleeping bag and get a free set of, of hiking poles. Um, you could offer a fixed amount discount. So for example, buy all three products and get 20% off. Um, or you could sell the whole thing for a target price. So you know, buy all three products for $400 or whatever the price may be. And then of course you could set the minimum number of products so that a customer can't just purchase one of the items and get a discount. Okay, so now we can save those changes and we can decide where to display our bundle. So we can click on using campaign here. And then as you can see, I already have some locations set up for my other deals, but let's create a new one. We'll call it bundle on product pages. And then I want this bundle to display on all three of the product pages that I just added the products for. So we'll, we'll keep this as product pages only. Um, of course, you could also choose the cart page here. And for example, if we just wanted to show it on one product page, maybe um, we just want to offer the sleeping bag and the poles on the product page of the backpack, we could choose advanced and just type in the specific URL here. But let's stick with product pages for now. And then we just need to add that location. So once the location is set, you can click on Customize in Designer, which basically takes you to a preview of one of your product pages. And then we can add the bundle to the page to see how it will look before it, it's live in your store. So if you want to use the pop-up, you can just toggle that on here. Or if you want to display the bundle as a widget on the page, you can just drag and drop this over. And then when you see a purple line in the area where you want to show the bundle, just drag and drop it like that. Okay, so this is how it looks um, right out of the box. Once you have it positioned um, in an area that you're happy with, you can go to existing and then click here to edit the widget. So for example, you can change the layout from vertical to horizontal. You can change where the add to cart button is. You can choose whether or not these boxes are pre-selected. Um, and you can also, if you want to, hide this product, seeing as it's already being displayed um, on this products page if you like to. And then for full customization options, you can go here where you can change all of the um, button colors, font sizes, um, styling of the widget, uh, layout options, and pretty much everything else that you need. When you're happy with how it looks, you can save changes. And then once you hit publish, the deal will be live in your store. So we can publish it now. And then this button will take us to one of the product pages in our store where we can view the bundle. You can see it right here. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, it's really effective on product pages and as an upsell or in the cart if you want to display it there. Have fun.